So you guys, today I'm doing this makeup look. I've only uploaded pictures of it like a bazillion times on my social media. So you're probably a bit sick of it by now, but it's just this nice olive glittery look I did with this Dior eyeshadow, which just inspired me because it's so prints. Um, perfect for the holidays, like Christmas time right now, which is why I'm uploading it now. Um, but I also love it as a nice elegant makeup look for people with green, hazel or brown eyes because it's a mixture of sort of those colors and so it just looks so elegant it just looks good to sort of match your eye color to your eyeshadow color um, it's a really good way to wear color without overpowering anything so yeah blue eyes can of course wear this look but I'm gonna recommend it for all my green eyed gals out there hazel and brown as well um, instead so I'll come up with something for blue eyes soon I'm sure but without further ado I'll get into it hope you like it's the voice of Chloe Morello again to tell you how to do this look. I'm starting out with a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick. It's in this beautiful moss green colour so that it acts as a base underneath the olive eyeshadow. This will make it look a little bit more green I guess and help the product to stick and get a lot on there. I'm blending that out with just a plain eyeshadow brush and then taking some nice rusty brown shades from my chocolate palette, chocolate bar palette and placing that through the socket. And now it's for the star of the show, <laughs> this Dior eyeshadow. I'm patting it all over the green. And then um, just very liberally, it, you actually don't need that much because it's a very pigmented eyeshadow. It's beautiful as you can see. And it's got the golden reflex in it. It's just so stunning and smooth and buttery and oh, I love it. Now this is a really good Zoeva brush and um, it's quite a firm blending brush so I can really concentrate the color where I want it. And I'm taking a darker brown and putting it through the outer V just to blend the, um, the brown colour in with the green a little bit. Then I'm putting the shadow stick underneath the eye and going over it with some of the Dior eyeshadow to blend it out. And then I'm taking this Dior cream shadow which is kind of, it actually gives like a gold dust effect even though it is a cream. As you can see it just adds like some extra sparkle without actually putting glitter on your eyelid and I like that it stays better than glitter too you don't need to use anything to adhere it and then this is a really good bronze eyeliner and I'm putting that on my waterline probably an optional step but it just brings it all together a little bit if you want to make the look a bit more intense you could have you could use like a black in there that would look cool too then I'm putting some gold on the inner corner and under the eye and then I'm taking some of the brown again on a fluffy brush the same that I put through the crease and mixture of both of them and just blending that out underneath. Then a black eyeliner pencil in noir from Bobbi Brown just on the top lash line because I'm going to be putting on mascara and fake eyelashes so I just want to make sure that that can be concealed but also to get a little bit of definition on the upper lid and I'm just blending that in with this um, angle brush, stiff angle brush and um, patting it in sort of. You can't really see that that much but yeah. Now I'm using my YSL mascara in shocking or is it no it's baby doll I think and then I'm putting on these lashes these are by Velour lashes but I can't remember what they're called I'm sorry but they've got a wing at the end so they look really nice and then my foundation is NARS matte glow which I do like although it doesn't actually keep me matte for that long but whatever my skin I'm just used to that <laughs> so um, yeah I really like the finish though but it is way too dark for me so what I do when my foundation is too dark and I see BF taking it off I take a light um, concealer, this is Alabaster by Yves Lom, and I put it through all the center of my face. This is kind of like reverse contouring, so we're just highlighting, which means that the rest of the product is going to turn into a sort of contour for my skin. So I'm putting that on quite liber liberally down all the center of my face, like the nose, forehead, cheeks, cheekbone, lip, chin, and then I blend it in, and it just, when you look at my, <laughs> oh my god, when you look at my face, okay, okay, stop. No, keep going okay <laughs> um, but when you look at the face as a whole you don't focus on the dark a bit or the lighter bit when you're looking at someone's face all you see is the face color as a whole and if that matches like if you've got a blend of light and dark colors then it will match the tan that you have on your body and your body is not all the one same color anyway like my neck is really white and my chest is a bit more tan so just keep that in mind when you're doing your face sometimes it actually looks more natural to have multiple shades on your face. Now I'm doing my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and as you can see I like this because it gives it quite a natural look without it but I, my brows still look really polished but I don't have those stupid like 
really dark outlines. Anyway, this is Choco Lux Foundation from Makeup Store. And I'm just going to carve out my contour a little bit there, just under my cheekbone. As you can see when I'm doing my contour, and I'll flick it down a little bit toward my jaw or my chin. And then I'm doing the tip of my nose, which I kind of regretted doing, but it came out okay in the end. I usually don't do this, but I just felt like it to see how it went. <laughs> Blending it out with a little eyeshadow brush. And um, yeah, wouldn't recommend that because it takes so bloody long, but I didn't want to ruin any of my other brushes. So I'm actually blending out my contour with a stupid tiny eyeshadow brush. Would not recommend. Then I'm using my finger to soften it out a little bit more because obviously I couldn't soften it out that easily with the eyeshadow brush. And then this product is the Revlon Skin Lights. I love that again, it's just a very dewy highlight. It doesn't look like there's shimmer or glitter on your face. It really just highlights a ridge look um, of a cheekbone when you move your face under the light. And then put some between my brows because I love that look. And I also put a little bit above my cheekbone too. Now putting my lip liner on, this is just a nice natural color from Makeup Store. And I'm lining my lips and going a little bit over the lip line in my cupid's bow and underneath my lip just to make them look really pouty. And shade the lips in all the way. And this is the finished look. Really love how it came out with this color lip. Originally I had a, like a brown colored lip but I think this one looks much prettier. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments.